getting all paranoid, peri, paranoid, paranoid. My throat's a little scratchy. Look, I just had, we just had COVID in July, but I really do think it's my allergies. How are y'all allergies doing? Like I have been, my allergies have been horrible and I'm not taking anything. I got off singular. We all got off singular just due to the side effects. We got off that drug and I really don't want to get back on it. But allergies can, if I don't get it under control, it can get really bad. So I think what I need to do is really, really dust here tomorrow morning. Take my time and dust and vacuum. Um, and yeah, the weather has changed too. It's gotten cooler here. So maybe that's part of it. So I am going to pick up my order from Sally's. Didn't get a chance to do that. What time is it? One o'clock. Um, we had Chick-fil-A for, uh, breakfast slash lunch. Look, y'all, I calculate now since I'm at my weight, pre-COVID weight, I'm being really careful. So I had half, I didn't even eat all my food. Now if we eat out and we still eat out quite a bit, like once a week, in my opinion, that's a lot. So now when we do eat out, I do not eat all my food. I know it's a waste of money if you look at it like that, but I try not to consume all the calories. Um, cause for dinner, baby, I would be having, um, uh, what am I having? Cabbage and sausage. So no carbs. Okay. No carbs trying to trade, stay low on the carbs and that'll be it. Yeah. So I'll basically two meals for the day tomorrow. I'll limit it to two meals. I'll probably have like a banana for breakfast. That's what I've been doing y'all for breakfast. I don't start my first meal till around nine or 10 o'clock and I will have like fresh fruit. Okay. Or oatmeal. Um, at this point, especially my first meal, I try to make my first, first meal about nourishing my body. I don't care what it is. I'm just nourishing my body. I'm just stopping the hunger. That is how I'm looking at it. Now tomorrow I'm going to have my husband to make some beef. Cause I went, went to girl, this beef costs $25 at Whole Foods. So we're going to have beef tacos and I'll make some, um, cilantro lime rice and we'll have some roasted corn. Look, our favorite spot has stopped doing margaritas to go. And my husband's, my husband is bent out of shape child. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> He, he said that was a dumb move. I said, don't don't blame me. I'm not the one that stopped doing it. They did. He's like, that's a dumb move because the numbers going up. Nobody's gonna be eating now. I said, you'll be surprised. There are so many people still going out and eating now. You'll be surprised. So anyway, y'all, let me hush up. I really just wanna for the weekend just sit in and relax. I wanted to start doing my hair today because I was going to review my last review for the year. Of you know, Adwa. Um, I want to review that this weekend. I'm just so tired, but that is it. And then, like I said, I have that flexi rod set for y'all that I'm doing next month. And then some of these other hair related videos I'm saving for next year. So like I have my um, I think I'm gonna do another wash day with the Dollar Tree, which will be really simple. And then, or affordable wash day, I should say. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an affordable wash day. I'll save that for next year. We are revisiting the Bio Infusion product. I'll save that for next year. And I think I'll do a wash and go. Girl, I don't even know why I try this shit. We will try to do another wash and go. So, did I show y'all my nails last vlog? What is it, baby? I see you found your way in. You pick, how did you pick the lock this time? With a toothpick. With a toothpick. I wonder. What's your hand? Oh. Sing. Have y'all noticed that a lot of these, like I said, I don't keep up with these celebrity rappers and stuff, but a lot of these people are ending up dead. Like, who is this? Savage? 21? Brother? Mom, can, can, I, can I see the attic? No, baby. Mm. NBA Young Boys brother, Savage 21's brother, dead at 21. What is it, child? Oh, you little belly. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> mm. Oh, poo poo. You, you pecking on the pants. <laughs> so cute. Mm -hmm. What are you looking You want to go in the attic? Yeah. I'm gonna look in the attic. You know who's in the attic. <laughs> P. 
Pennywise, maybe in the attic. <laughs> he think that's funny. That would scare me if I was your age. We gotta go to Sally's and pick up my hair Dad, stuff, can I child. please look in the attic? You need to learn how to detangle my hair. Ah, boy, that is not how you detangle my hair. Hey, y'all. It is, what's today? What's today, y'all? Saturday. <clears throat> Yesterday, my throat started to feel scratchy. Hold on, y'all. So I've been downing ginger tea, and I feel I feel better. I also make sure I slept, and yeah. So y'all yeah, put on a dress because y'all have to realize most of the time I wear what I call my mommy uniforms, those uh, little indoor pajamas that I get from Walmart. And so I said, you know what, let me go ahead and put on just a little bit of makeup, show off my girls, put on this dress. Y'all seen this dress before. Put on a little bit of makeup and some earrings. I washed my hair today. Girl, it's cleavage is glossing that girl. Little, hold on. Child, let me make sure I take my birth control. <laughs> I'm not playing. What's the day, y'all? Woo, I'm not playing. <laughs> we are not having no quarantine babies. Y'all, let me pop these pills. Um, my husband is still fit to be tied about this restaurant not offering margaritas to go. He's like, have you called? I'm like, look, man, it's a wrap. Y'all, I be I am tired lately. I don't know if it, if it's the weather change or just everything coming, you know, the year closing, and I'm just done with the year. Cause I saw so we were going back and forth. I told him, I said, look, I am done. We would typically once a month we go all the way up to Scottsdale to get margaritas to go. We don't even get a lot of food. It's mostly the margaritas to go, and I, they have great margaritas. But Scottsdale is a drive from where we live. We live in North Phoenix, going out towards, outside of Phoenix, actually. And so, um, it's a two hour trip, round trip. And it's only because it's the weekend and they shut down the I-17 due to construction. And I finally said, look, you're not the one up here. I said, you're not the one up here having to, this is me talking to my husband, you're not the one up here having to cook make sure the dinner is ready. And then, you know, he's like, well, I'll drive. I said, no. Hey, y'all want to show you what JV is working on. He's working on this house. He's finalizing his project base uh, this is the Lego creating his own Lego and um, we took about two weeks to go back to some more homeschooling stuff and so now this is a final and then I'll show y'all what the next project is gonna be which we're gonna be doing this month I'm really busy at work so we're gonna be doing projects for the next two or three weeks his next project is pretty cool I got it from teachers paid teachers and it is trapped in the 80s and so he's gonna be looking at different stuff like hairstyle trends this is right up jb's alley honey he has to draw what the hairstyle would look like what is this um <clears throat> then and now different type of technology what's the difference draw himself um tape player there was another here i wanted to show y'all the berlin wall historical events that occurred during the 80s we'll also be covering music absolutely music was the best back then right a decade deconstructed so this will again cover several different subjects or topics I should say history music um, won't really do a lot of math in here of course we'll be do, we'll be reading social studies I will have to incorporate our own math we'll probably get started on double digit addition we're behind on that and so today even though he's finishing up his Lego project today we'll still be hitting it hard I got these books from the Dollar Tree. Very, very easy um, to just pull these out, ready to read. He's going to read to me, counting by fives, counting by tens. 
um, want to make sure he has that down solid and then we will be doing I think we already did some of this spectrum writing we've been talking about details writing in details and then he has a handwriting book for boys this is so cute I got this on Amazon just to practice his handwriting his handwriting is sloppy and then we'll be going through and doing some spelling I think we're gonna cover possessive nouns if we have time this weekend um found a little activity and then of course I have my grammar punctuation book I got from Amazon so it seems like a lot but really it isn't we're able to get through all of this stuff in two hours tomorrow he won't do homeschooling and then Friday we'll hit it hard again um, and then possibly a little bit on Saturday oh <sighs> Lord y'all look and it's been a long week but it's finally Friday it's Friday and I'm ready to swing little bit tipsy on this thing girl um <clears throat> girl I haven't fixed me a little a little thing of whatever so y'all it's Friday and it was really busy at work this week but it was productive and I do not mind look I do not mind having a productive busy week what I don't like is when I'm busy and ain't shit getting done because I'm busy trying to put out fires that I don't like but it was it was a, product, a productive week and so we're good we're good so yes it's Friday my husband's off I'm cooking I'll show y'all what I'm cooking here in a minute but I want to share something with y'all because And I need to be careful with how I word this. I, I Not that I think I'm going to offend someone. I just want to make sure that whatever I say, that it comes across genuine. Which I, I, I do think it will. So, y'all, I got a harsh reminder that when we, live the, when we leave this earth, that we cannot take nothing with us. And so you have to think about what do you want people to remember you by. Because it's not like people are not going to uh, put it like this. So case to point, I don't want people. Yes, I think I have good hair, but I don't want people to remember me. Remember me by my great hair, meaning um, <clears throat> physical, you know, uh, materialistic things. You know what I mean? Physical quanti qualities, materialistic things characteristics that's what I want people to remember remember me by she was a kind person she was funny she was witty she was smart I'll hell I'll even go if she was a great cook you know what I mean hell that's a skill set right the reason why I'm bringing this up is that about two weeks ago one of the moms in the neighborhood she sent me a text message and she's like she's like hey Vivian they're already putting up so-and-so's house for sale this is the family where the father killed the family. There was a survivor. The little girl survived. But everyone else has passed on. It was horrible. So I was like, are you serious? Y'all, within two weeks, the family, I don't know if it was her mother had put the house, meaning the, the wife's mother, the grandmother had put the house up for sale. And we don't know people's situation so great, but I know... For me, I don't think I could do that that fast. But hey, this is the market right now to sell too, ironically. So, um, what's my point? So anyway, she was like, the mom in the neighborhood was like, she's like, yeah, and there's a bunch of stuff outside. I said, what do you mean? She's like, well, they put a bunch of stuff out for bulk pickup. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I did this. But I went by there. I walked by because I was curious to see what do they have of these people that are out there it was a little bit of furniture and stuff and you know knickknacks and then i saw a box of trophies and they were the boys trophy he was 13 years old he 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 ended up dying too and then he played baseball he was very athletic built too i could tell that he would have you know was possibly a good athlete and so there was like God, I would say about 20, 15 to 20 trophies in this box on the side of the road for trash. And you could tell these were this child's prized possessions. But then they got me thinking, 
You And just a reminder that you can't take none of this stuff with you when you're gone. You can't take none of this with you. So what will people remember you by? Like seriously, what? And thankfully I have great, I mean I wasn't close with the family but I have good memories of the children and the little boy was always a sweetheart and that's what I remember him by. It wasn't that he was a great athlete, you know what I mean? So I just, God, like one day, you know, once we all gone, our, our, whoever is our loved ones are going to have to trash our stuff that we value, but really that's not really a value. You know what I mean? And so that was a harsh reality for me is that, you know, what do I want people to remember me by? Remember me by? It's not going to be stuff. I can't take this with me. Hey, 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 y'all. So we are in, girl, um, we're leading into the second week of December. Um, y'all, it's just steadily going on. Now, I woke up, I've been sleeping crazy. So I've been sleeping in a guest bedroom. Plus, my husband has a cold. He claims that we gave him a cold, but no. He's literally sneezing and coughing. And I'm like, you... You can't be sneezing on my bonnet in the middle of the night. So I've been sleeping in the back room for the last two nights um, just because we both have not been sleeping well. And so we sleep, when we're like this, we sleep better separate. At least he does. I'm ha I'm struggling. No. <laughs> um, let me move y'all in some so I don't talk so loud. Hold on, girl. Sorry, girl. So anyway, like I said, my hair may cut off a little bit. We in December, um, yeah, y'all just trekking along. So I woke up in the middle of the night. I do this, you guys. I have horrible insomnia. It's been like this for years, but I don't feel necessarily tired when I wake up. So that's good. But I'm a type of insomniac, I guess you call it, to where I can get up in the middle of the night, 30 minutes wide awake, and fall asleep again. No problem. No problems at all, okay? So it looks like they are switching to virtual learning for the school district here until the beginning of February. When I tell you some folks are pissed, some parents, but this is the thing, I really don't know what people thought. With the numbers steadily going up, what do you expect? We knew this was gonna happen. We had a hunch that they were gonna shut down. If you're not doing, if you were in person, yeah, you go on a virtual. And this is something that's going to be happening, y'all, for a while. I hate to say it, but it is. It's just um, my neighbor told me her grandbaby has had four teachers already. Now he, now she has a fifth teacher, another teacher, because the teachers are quitting. I don't blame them, but dang, the teachers are quitting. And her, her grandbaby is in um, third grade. She said one day, she's like, can JB come over? I'm like, are y'all done with your assignments? She said, we didn't have any today. I said, okay. <laughs> hey, you guys. So you didn't go anywhere with me because I didn't go anywhere. It is rainy and cold here in Phoenix. So I'm staying my butt home. Excuse the background. My neighbor's granddaughter is here with JB. Um... Oh, yeah, I'm tired, and I, I think my husband did pass something on to us because I'm coughing just a little bit. Um, I've been down in ginger tea. It's probably just a little cold, but thankfully my nose isn't running. I had something like this two weeks ago. Remember that? Well, you guys will probably hear me saying it in this video, I feel like it's my allergies. At least I thought it was, but now with this coughing, girl, I don't know. Come say hi to the camera, JB. There's two cameras on. Come say hi. 
Two cameras. Say hi, Taryn. Hi. <laughs> they can't see you, baby. Look at Baby, you look big next to her. You look like a giant. <laughs> you look so big next to Terry. <laughs> Good poor baby. <laughs> how, now, how old are you, Taryn? So they'll know. Eight. You're eight. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay. Y'all, this book is sitting, this camera is sitting on the book. I'm talking low because it's loud. This hair, I gotta do something with my hair. If you hear something, it's the heater because it's cold, girl, it's cold. So y'all, it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Oh girl, yesterday it rained, all yesterday. Let me turn the heater off, y'all. Okay, girl, what the hell? So yesterday, it rained all yesterday, girl, all yesterday. And the kids were together all day. I'm like, when I dropped, well, when I dropped JB off, well, sorry, I'm sorry. When I dropped the little girl back off, they kept saying, oh, wait, we, can we come over here? Or can he come over here? Or can she come over there? I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, fine, I don't care. And finally, she was like, well, it's Hanukkah. You know, Hanukkah starts, and so I want JB to celebrate Hanukkah with us. I said, okay, baby, fine. Miss Lori started explaining to JB what Hanukkah, you know, is. And so uh, Miss Lori started off. She's like, well, you know, some people think they were the only people that were slaves, but, you know, Jewish people uh, were enslaved uh, a long time ago by the Egyptians. And I turned around and looked at her. I said, yeah, you're right. We did enslave you guys at one point. I said, I looked at JB, I said, yeah, she's absolutely right. Egyptians, which were people of color, did enslave Jewish people at one point. <laughs> Girl, don't try to tell me about history. I know my history. So, I told JB to this, like, y'all, I'm the same way, look, I'm the same way on camera that I am in person. Don't let this cute face and southern accent fool you. So, I'm a really nice person. I really am. But I, yeah. I don't think she was expecting it because I turned around so fast. Like, and I knew she was kidding, and I was half kidding. Thinking around, look at my last name. Hey, you guys, it's where's my baby at? JB, where are you? I'm back here. Oh, Lord. You move. That's why it looks different, y'all. I'm so extra. So, anyway, we're going to go run errands. I'm going to go return this thing in the Amazon. And. Surprise taking JB on a surprise. Y'all, what he likes. Let me turn this down, it's gonna get flagged. So, girl, I got dressed today. And then, y'all, look at this purple lipstick. Look, I feel like as long as I put on purple lipstick, like, it looks like I have on, like, a lot of makeup. Like, that's all you need is a good, a good lippy, and you done. You have to put on a lot of makeup. <laughs>